inspirational dude with one minute of inspiration. I was watching a show called Grand Designs. You may have seen it. It's about people who take historical places or unusual buildings and they purchase it with the dream of designing it the way that they want it to be. And um, the one I watched tonight was an old power station that a young couple took together. And there's a journalist there who follows them on their journey and sometimes it takes one to two years. And he's always asking the same question of them. He's always saying, do you have any regrets doing this? What are you going to do? You don't have enough money. You don't have enough material. Uh, the material has come in late. The weather has been against you. Now, did you ever get to a point in your life where you just thought, wow, what have we got ourselves into? Maybe this has not been worth it. And he always gets the same answer. And the same answer is no. Yes, we did feel low. Yes, we did feel frustrated. But no, we did not ever think of giving up. This is our dream and this is what we do. And the show that I saw tonight was a couple that put together a power station and they had no experience in building, no experience in buying, no very low capital, like 150000 And in the end, with nothing but just their passion and their dream, they put it together and they worked really hard. It just showed them working like during their day job and then coming back after the day job, even through the cold weather because this is in London somewhere. And just working on, you know, through the night and painting. And they said that they went to bed tired and they woke up tired. And they did this for two years. And that's what it takes to follow your dreams. You know, it's always, always exciting. And, you know, the first two years or so, it's always going to be up and down, uncertain. It's always going to be like that. But, hey, this is the best thing you can be doing with your time is pursuing your dreams. If you don't follow your dreams, you just do the same thing that you're doing now. You'll be doing in five years, ten years, twenty years time. You just be doing that. But follow your dreams, because it's worth it. And you don't ever hit that low space where you feel like just giving up. You just, you know, you get more curious and you wonder, wow, what's next? You know, how, you know, how, what, what am I going to do? You're always asking those questions. How can I handle this? You know. But have the dream in front of you. Create the dream. So just like these people have a dream house and they're, they're picturing you know, what it's going to be like furnished, even though when you look at it, it's just rubbish all over the place. It's, you know, the place is falling apart. The, the, the ceiling is peeling. It's whatever. But all you see is the shape and you can see in your mind's eye what it is going to be like and what it is going to be like when you actually move in and you have your own bathroom and your own bedroom. So follow your dreams like building a house, you know, the foundation. The foundation is the vision. Have that. And that vision will carry you through, through the cold weather, through the lack of material, the lack of finance, the lack of anything. As long as you have the dream and the passion, you will lack nothing. Because number one, the foundation is your vision. One minute of inspiration. Keep building. Build high. Build deep. And love fully. Cheers.